are so excited to partner with Bright Pink as our official breast cancer charity for 2013, and beyond that, as our partner in promoting women's health throughout the year. The decision to partner with Bright Pink was really quite easy, as the mission of our two organizations are so closely aligned. I would say necessity is the mother of an invention. In 1983, I won the championship of the United States of America as a colorist. And then the year after, I became allergic to hair color. You know, so I did not give up. And I love this profession. And uh, what I did, I did lots of research and development. And I ended up coming with a product called Sunglitz, which was the first lightener in the world uh, that's gone back 25 years ago, we eliminated ammonia in uh, hair lighteners. And from there, uh, kept going and uh, I made uh, biocell color and uh, biocell perms, all ammonia free. And uh, we, from there, we developed the silk molecules, you know, and, and producing uh, the biocell line, which is you know, silk therapy, which is number one seller for the last 19 years in the United States of America. After that, about 10 years ago, uh, invented the and marketed the Qi flat iron with the advanced American technology. And uh, that's enjoying number one in the United States of America. Bright Pink is the only national nonprofit organization with an exclusive focus on breast and ovarian cancer prevention and early detection. One of the beautiful things about Bright Pink is that we're not reactive. We don't just respond to somebody having cancer. We are a proactive organization that wants young women to take control of their health and be active in the decision making process so they can really make a decision that's right for them. Over the last 35 years or so, I've been fortunate to be involved in numerous business and charitable enterprises and I can say without a doubt this is probably the most dynamic experience I have had in, in this capacity. The truth is that breast cancer is one of the leading diagnoses of cancer in women and ovarian cancer is the deadliest cancer in women and in families these two cancers can be linked. The average woman has a 1 in 8 chance of developing breast cancer in her lifetime, which is approximately 12%, and 1% chance of developing ovarian cancer in her lifetime. But if she has a first degree relative who's had one of these cancers, a mother, a sister, or daughter, her risk is automatically doubled. For those who carry the BRCA gene mutation, the risk for developing breast cancer can be up to 87% and up to 54% for ovarian cancer. My grandma and great-grandma, so my mother's mother and grandmother, died a week apart, both from breast cancer. When I was 12, my mom was diagnosed first with breast cancer and a year later with ovarian cancer. When I was going through cancer, I felt that I had robbed Lindsay of her childhood. She was so young, she was only 12 years old. And here she was, you know, coming home from school every day, watching her mother laying on the couch, having no energy, no hair, and just trying to deal with life the best that she could. I was afraid that my daughter would follow in my footsteps. And as a mother, you know, being a survivor of breast and ovarian cancer, that was the last thing that I wanted to happen to my daughter. When I found out that I had tested positive for the breast cancer gene, I was absolutely devastated. I was 22 years old and single and um, really struggling with what is this gonna mean of having up to an 87% risk of breast cancer and up to a 54% risk of ovarian cancer. That summer, I underwent a prophylactic bilateral mastectomy. Having the surgery truly brought my old self back. Um, I was happy again. I felt relieved. I felt as though the weight had been lifted from my shoulders. That dark cloud was no longer following me. And I really wanted to go out there and make sure that other young women who were going through a similar experience um, felt as though they had a community that was uniquely their own, that understood what they were going through, that was there always to listen no matter what time of the day or night, um, and was able to provide real kind of tangible resources that made a difference um, in their lives. The partnership allows us to help educate women on making healthy lifestyle choices. We've given women the tools to be proactive with their health in the beauty arena. Now through our relationship with Bright Pink, we can equip women with the information they need to be proactive with their breast, ovarian, and overall health. We know that this is going to be an amazing partnership. 
Together, we will empower women to be beautiful, bright, bold, and aware of all the advanced technologies available to protect their wellness.